All right, I'll be doing folks with Bull, Marcos 2205, the numbers after the name. Games beaten right here, games that I've beaten so far this year, man. Try to get at least like one a week out, man, if possible. You know, life kind of gets in the way sometimes. In this case, we got XCOM 2. Uh, not the longest video over here, man. Unfortunately, I didn't actually, my capture card crapped out on me halfway through playing through XCOM 2, and I kind of kept playing it. I ended up beating it before I got a new one. Shout out to the captain for shipping off one over to me. Uh... And unfortunately, I just didn't have time, so I actually missed capturing the end of the game. I did save it like a little bit before, just so I could kind of have the mission and be able to get some footage over here, and it didn't turn out too well. But in the end, what I ended up having was just me, my girl, and the Avatar were the only people that survived. I lost like, I guess, four guys in the last mission. Uh, it was pretty brutal. I ended up getting this game a 10 out of 10, but the last mission was pretty brutal. And I kept most of everybody alive. I honestly didn't really lose. I lost like maybe like two people the whole time. And I think the first mission of the game, I followed what the game told me and it killed off two people, which I was like, I don't know what the game is trying to tell me, but the game wasn't programmed too well uh, in that first mission because I felt like I was just losing. And I felt like I could make better decisions than the ones that the game were making, but I digress. That's neither here nor there. Uh, XCOM 2 to me, it's, it's a sequel. I gave it a 10 out of 10. It, it, it improves on everything. That was the original XCOM. If you're not really into, you know, um, it's kind of technical strategy kind of game, uh, turn-based, I guess, strategy kind of game, then you're not going to be into XCOM 2. But if you are, like if you're into Fire Emblem or something like that, and it's got a lot of rules and a lot of crazy shit to it. But, like, if you get to know it and you put it, invest time in the game, it's extremely rewarding. And it's a game that improves so much more over the original. Like, I literally can't think of a single thing that the original did better than this game. And that's saying something for a sequel, man. Your boy Marcos, hope you guys enjoyed the video.